Okay, what we're going to be doing today is animating a background so it looks something like what we've got here, all right, where the plane stays in the middle and the background moves uh, continuously. All right, so here's my Photoshop file and I've just got three layers, uh, the planes are on its own. Now, if I go to a normal photo of a cloud and I want to move my edges, I'll just go to Filter, Other, Offset. All right, and that's the problem here. We've got that line in the uh, middle of our image and we just want to kind of get rid of that. All right, and to do that, all we're going to do is just use our patch tools and we just drag over parts and drag them over like so. Clean, clean up like so. All right, so just do that all along the image until we get something like this picture here where if we go to offset, no matter where we are, it works quite nicely. All right, so once you've done that, you can then go into uh, Adobe Animate and File, Import, Import to Stage, and select your Photoshop file, and just click on the layers that you want to import. I only want my Spitfire and um, Offset Cloud. And also just make sure that the st set stage is set to your Photoshop. All right, import, great. Now, I'm just gonna select on my, uh, on my plane, and then I'm just gonna go modify, convert to symbol. I'm gonna call that plane. All right, now over in my library, I can see my symbol for plane. I'm just gonna double click and I'm just going to just add a little bit of movement. So modify, timeline, oh, what is it? Um, insert, timeline, keyframe. All right, now I'm just gonna use my arrow key to move that uh, plane just up one pixel. And also if you just had noticed down here, I am working in my plane layer. And then if I want to go back to my scene, I'll just go over here to the scene and click on it. All right, I'll press Command Enter. And you can see my plane's just moving a little bit. All right, now to the background, okay? Click away to select nothing. Click on my background. Now I'm gonna press Shift to move, keep in a straight line and Alt to copy. And there we go to the end. Right now, I'm going to make sure that both of those images are selected. Right click and convert to symbol. All right, I'll call that sky. Okay, now I'm going to go over to say my hundreds keyframe, insert keyframe. And I'm just going to click and drag, just keeping shift so it stays in a straight line to go over. Yep, there's the edge. Great. Now, right click, create classic twin. Great. Now, I'll go to my Spitfire layer and insert keyframe. All right. And Command Enter, have a look. There we go. There it works. Lovely. All right. Now, of course, with that, um, now that I've got the uh, plane symbol, I can create more, uh, more planes. Right, I'm going to make a new layer. I'll call that plane back. All right, and I'm just going to uh, put my plane in there just off screen. And with the transform tool, I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller. And... Let's see. I should just command J, is it? No, that's not it. All right, I'll just keep it at that touch, that level. All right, so now I'll go, let's make it enter at about 20. Insert keyframe. Now I'll go to keyframe 80. Insert keyframe. Shift, move it across. And create classic tween. All right, great, so there it is, it's moving along. All right, now I'll make one in the front. Plane, 
front, right? Add my plane. You again use the transform, make it bigger. Right, make sure that it's starting appearing off stage. And this time this one will appear at 30. Insert keyframe, make it 70. Insert keyframe, move that across. All right, make sure it's off screen. Create classic tween. And there we go. All right, so there's our animation. Okay.